All right, we are looking at uh, pulse raising. So the final phase of your generic warm, which would be to get your blood moving, get your heart pumping, uh, start increasing the core temperature, uh, start basically the end result, you feel a little bit sweaty, a little bit red in the face, you feel your chest lifting as you breathe a little bit more. That should pretty much be it. You don't want to burn people out in your pulse raises, so don't kill people off. It's going to make the rest of your session uh, a waste. It's going to make it a bust. Uh, so don't keep people off, but make sure they are warm for the actual part of the session. Uh, we're going to do a primal flow for our warm up. So we've got two flows we're going to go through. Uh, first flow we're going to look at. Because uh, this is a pulse raiser, I'm going to contain elements that are mobilizing, contain elements that are activating, and combining them all together, going from high to low positions over and over again. That is what is going to get my heart rate moving. That's what's going to get me warm, essentially. Uh, so our first flow, we're going to look at four movements. Uh, you do 30 seconds or so of the first one the 20 second rest then you'd go into a minute combining the first and the second movement together another 20 seconds rest a minute 30 combining three and then two minutes combining all four of them together so you're just going to add on and you're going to build up in the combination that you've got available so first off we're going to look at 30 seconds of bootstrappers so again just starting as low as you can start depends on uh, your hip mobility i'm going to start right at the bottom and the fingers underneath my hands so all i'm going to do for my first round is drive up and down so I'm just working on activating the hamstrings here. So I'm just going to spend 30 seconds at the bottom of this movement, progressively trying to lock my legs back further and further, trying to keep my chest nice and low down towards the floor. What's on 30 seconds of that? I've got 20 seconds. The coach will remind everyone what's coming up next. Next 20 seconds. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to come down, up, and then I'm going to do a nice steady hand workout, driving my hips down into the floor. So up, down, up and walk out. So this is a minute working through these two movements together from here. Third round, again after your 20 second rest, once I've done my hand walk out, I'm going to lift up onto my knees, I'm going to go for a basic kneeling press up, get your chest, lie down on the floor, push up, I'm just going to go for an overhead reach. So that's getting a little bit of bracing involved, body wants to drop into the side, so lean out, keeping everything stable, back up onto your feet from there, so bootstrap down, up, walk out, into your hip drop, lift your bum up, chest to the floor, and reach, chest to the floor, and reach, nice and simple. So that is your third round, the last round after your 20 second rest. Again, coach reminding what's coming up, coming down, up, and walk out, into your hip drop, kneeling press up, with a reach overhead, and on the opposite side, and then I'm going to step my left foot up, so I'm going to do a prone step. All I'm going to do from here is try and sink some weight into that foot. I'm going to try and drive this heel into the floor as tight as I can, leaning into that leg a little bit, just to activate most of the muscles around my upper hip. Driving into the floor, squashing my foot into the ground, relax, back into our next boot trap. So the last round all the way through, into your hip drop, press and reach. Left prone step, driving the foot down, driving the foot down. So your last round of that will be two minutes. Um, again, this our, our pulse razor should be progressive. So if you are feeling quite tight, quite sore today because you've already trained strength this week, spend that pulse razor mobilizing. So don't go crazy fast with it. Worry about, not worry, but focus on increasing your mobility, getting through that range of movement as best as you can. If you're feeling quite fit, quite agile, go faster. Try and get more reps out and try and get your heart rate going a little bit more. Treat it as what's appropriate for you, what you need to warm yourself up for the session that's ahead. So that is flow one. Next time we'll have a look at flow two. See you then.